Hey, what's up Linda users, I'm Jonathan and today's video is less a tutorial but more something I just wanted to try and that is to create a photogrammetry model from a single photo. Well, how would we achieve that? If you have been on TikTok recently then you might have seen the new 3D photo trend which is this one right here. My proposal is that we create a 3D-ish animation from a photo and then feed the newly generated images into reality capture to see if it can reconstruct some geometry. To do that I set up this GitHub repository. It's called 3D Photo in Painting and does exactly that. It creates these 3D animations from a single photo. And installing it is actually pretty simple. You just download the entire repository and then unzip it. And after that it tells you step by step what you need to do. But there are some errors I encountered on the way with some of the dependencies, so I created this environment.yml file, which you can use to create a new Anaconda environment that has all dependencies already installed. So what you need to do is have this environment.yml file in a folder, that by the way you can download in the video description, and then open the Windows console and type in conda env create dash f and then environment.yml. This will just create the environment for you. To actually use this repository, we need to put an image into the image folder. So what I did was I downloaded this image, which has some nice depth to it. And now we can just activate the environment we just previously created. And it is called 3dp. And now we can use this command from the GitHub right here to create the animation. And now you can see that it's running through all the required steps and right here it is just creating the videos. And once everything is done we can close the console and head over to the video folder. And let's have a look at the results. This is the swing mp4 file. And so let's use this video and split it up to images with Blender and then load these images into Reality Capture. In Blender, let's quickly go to the video sequencer, sequencer slash preview and add the movie file. Great, now we can set the end frame to the end of our footage and adjust all of the different parameters. For example, my resolution is 708 by 960 and you also want to make sure that you select your footage and check if the scale is set to 1. I also wanted to change the frame step value to 5 so that only every fifth frame is rendered. And the last thing I want to do is to set the view transform to standard so we don't mess with the original colors. And now let's quickly set an output folder and render out the animation. Great, now we can open Reality Capture or any photogrammetry software you like and then drag and drop these images into this panel right here. Great! That allows us now to click on align images and once that is finished we should see a point cloud that roughly represents the geometry in the image. And you can see that yeah this looks almost correct. First of all it is rotated so let's go to reconstruction, click on set ground plane and rotate our scene correctly. We can see that the camera's position were calculated correctly but the backside of this little alley somehow has been miscalculated. But we can try to reconstruct a 3D model from it. So let's click on normal detail under reconstruction and see how it looks like. And yeah, you can see that the 3D model is not perfect, but it kind of represents the buildings. And that becomes more clear if we actually colorize our mesh, as you can see right here. And yeah, that's basically it. For this video I just wanted to experiment with the thought of creating a model from a single image. But you can see that it doesn't really work. It might work in some cases, but for the most part, this is just a little gimmick to play around with. Hopefully this video was interesting and you maybe learned something. And with that said, we will see each other in the next video next Saturday.